Good morning, guys. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button below. So I have been super swamped with moving and everything's been so crazy, but I wanted to jump on here even though um, it's a little bit late today and just kind of touch base. I'm just, some people have reached out. Love that. Thank you so much. We are doing wonderful, but you all know what it's like to move. It's crazy. It's like I can see floor, so I'm excited. I can see the floor. I never knew I missed the floor. So what I thought I would do today is something pretty simple because as you all know, I did not finish day five of Nina's notes and this was really on my heart and I think that this is completely um, relevant for today. So um, Nina's notes, like this notebook, boom, right here, the second day I had um, wrote a little bit about Harriet Tubman. So sometimes I'll get interested in a person, um, maybe a person of history or whatever, and I study them out and think on them. And God uses this person to speak to me about all kinds of stuff. I just kind of get inspired. Well, Harriet Tubman was one. I'm, I'm sure you're inspired by her. She's amazing. So, and then after this, this was before the movie came out. So if you haven't seen the movie, I mean, watch the movie, but she is an amazing lady. And so why I think her life is relevant for today is, so Harriet Tubman was a slave and then she was free. So she made it to her freedom, but um, she chose not to live in her place of freedom, but she risked it all. And she traveled back to rescue other people. And that whole concept is so amazing and it's what us Christians should be doing but what happens is we get our freedoms with Christ and we get in it and we get comfortable and we don't want to risk anything we don't want to give up our comforts to um, go rescue other people and bring them out and I think we can get into this kind of this complacent pattern in that but Harriet Tubman went back 13 times to rescue slaves. 13 times. She didn't live in her freedom and just be like, oh, I'm cool. She risked it all 13 times. She was a Christian lady and she went about 90 miles on foot in secret to rescue people. I mean, that was like a, a four day to a three week trip is what it was. And, um... You know, she had an increased risk in 1850 because of the Fugitive Slave Act that said that um, they were going to punish people who were doing that. But she still went. And so how does that, like, like, what does that mean for me? What does that mean for you? Well, it means, you know, if you don't know that you have freedoms in Christ, number one, the encouragement today is read your word, find out what God says, what's yours, what are your freedoms, what are your, what's your inheritance, and walk in it. And grab hold and don't let go because right now the enemy, the devil, demons, they want to try to blind your eyes. They want to try to hold you back from everything that God through Christ has paid the price for. But you know what? So if you don't know your freedoms and you're not walking them, I want you to find them out, grab hold of them, read the word and don't let go. Don't let go. Outlast it. And, and then, and then you'll be, then you'll come to a place of walking in it. But if you're walking in some freedoms and it gets comfortable, right? We all get comfortable. We don't want to do anything uncomfortable. We need to be going back and rescuing people out of darkness. We need to be doing that with the power of the Holy Spirit. We need to go into uncomfortable situations, things that, you know, places that may seem, um, risky and we need to rescue them. They need to hear they're not going to know that Jesus loves them unless we go and tell them, unless we go and show them. And so that's the encouragement. I think that's what it moved on my heart a few years ago. And when I read it again, it's moving and stirring up my heart now because right now we have an opportunity. There's so much, you know, about the, you know, so much negative stuff going on. And with all that negative, that means we have a great opportunity to share the promises of Christ, the love of Christ. And um, 
we're believing for many people to be set free. And so I'm praying for you. I have missed getting on here talking to you and I will be on here tomorrow. So with something fresh and new, but have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.